It's the vegan sisters and we're doing another potluck dinner tonight. Uh, we've been away for a little bit because we've been busy with things. May is a really hard month for us for some reason. Um, but tonight is Indian night. So we've done some different things. Um, to start off we're going to have a salad which I made. This is a typical Indian salad which is uh, some leafy greens, some cabbage, cucumbers, carrots, radishes, it's supposed to have tomatoes, but we didn't do tomatoes because somebody here is allergic to them. Um, and it has bananas, apples, and then what you do is you squirt it with your lemon juice <clears throat> and you use um, chopped marsala, which is a spice that goes over it. It's an Indian spice. So we're going to start off with that and then we're going to end with just some plain watermelon tonight. Uh, we didn't want to get fancy with the, the dessert, so I just did watermelon, which is absolutely wonderful it's very sweet so faith what did you do okay um i did a uh, lentil curry and i kind of just did this out of my head i couldn't find a good enough recipe i just used a uh, vegetable broth onion sauteed down some onion with some uh, curry paste a little curry powder and then added some vegetable broth with with the lentils and just cooked it down and then you know when it's almost done then you want to smash some of them down a little bit to give it a nice you know texture to put over your rice and we have our basmati rice here and um, did you want to say something about your here Marie's gonna take the camera okay and I made a veggie uh, curry it has garbanzo beans or chickpeas spinach and zucchini it's made with curry, salt, pepper, and a few other things to, to make it creamy. And then that's supposed to go over the, the rice. And then I also made, uh, it's called fr it, Indian sweet bread, and it's fried. It has a little bit of sugar. All it is is basically a dough with sugar on it. So, and it's deep fried. And uh, Faith got some of this. Hot mango chutney. That's it. And that's <laughs> stuff. It's supposed to go on it, so... Um, Hopefully it'll be good. Well, we love our Indian food here. We can't wait to eat. The whole house smells so good. Oh, I just love it. So uh, we'll let you go, and we're going to try this, and then we'll come back and let you know how our meal was. But I can already know how it's going to be. Great, <laughs> like all of them. All right. See you later. Okay, we're back, and we had our Indian meal, and it was absolutely wonderful. I know what you're thinking. These people always say their food is good. But if we had bad food, we would tell you. This food was excellent. Um, the salad was, was good. Uh, I wasn't too sure about the mix of the fruits and vegetables, but it did go well together. And the rice with the... Um, what was it that you made, Loretta? What was that called? Vegetable curry? Yeah. That was out of this world. Couldn't stop eating that. And the lentil also that Faith made was absolutely good. So, and we kept it simple with the watermelon because by the time we're done with these meals, we are so stuffed and full <laughs> because we can't stop eating them. So, Faith, what did you think? I thought it was great. I thought it was the best one yet. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, like she said, uh, if we had something to say bad about the food, we'd say it. Uh, we're just that good. <laughs> I mean, we're really that good. Yeah. I can't believe how fantastic this food is. Week after week when we do this, um, you know, and Loretta and I were having a conversation about how people say they can't do vegan because it, you know, they got to have meat or they got to have flavor or they got, if you can't make a flavorful dish vegan, you're doing something terribly wrong. The recipes that are out there are amazing. Um, this is not like it was 15 years ago. Being vegan is absolutely beautiful. The array of food, the flavors, and the combinations, I, I, I just, I'm happy. I love to eat. I love to eat good food, you know. And this is really, really good food. Fantastic. Week after week, it's always good. So I think next week, or the next time, I should say, we're going to do an Italian, right? And that what we decided? Italian. We're going we're gonna to do Italian. But next weekend, I, th I think we're going to go to an, another vegan bakery and go rate that. So, uh. Stay tuned for that because that's always good. And and by the way, we do when we review those places. There has been a couple that have not been that great, 
and we have said that on our videos. So, yes. you know, if something was really bad that we cooked, we would let you know. <laughs> I mean, there was one meal that uh, the rice wasn't done properly in a rice pudding, and we, we told you that. So, I mean, we're excited about this vegan bakery. It's in Allentown? No, Beth Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Yeah. And um, this is a an award-winning bakery um she she does all kinds of things for out of state her her products are shipped and people oh. actually make their chores and their errands around when her things arrive in their stores because it's so good so we're excited to try I'm that excited yeah. um so that we're going to do that and then we're going to do the italian for our next potluck dinner okay so for now everybody take care and we'll talk so we'll see you again